Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's Tableau tutorial, uh, I wanna cover how do you create dynamic labels for a highlight table? So let's wind this all the way back and talk about why would you wanna create dynamic labels for a highlight table? Um, so this is one of my uh, just kind of favorite random Tableau public visuals I've seen. The original version that I saw was from Andy Griebel, who's a great follow. Um, definitely check him out if you haven't already. And so he had a chart that looked something like this. I think it had no labels. And so what it did is this chart used a, a light orange to dark orange color range to show you which birthdays in the US were most popular um, or common, right? So the, this is very helpful from a high level, like, oh, I can see that birthdays in the summer are more popular than birthdays in the winter. But if I wanted to know what was the top 10 or the bottom 10 or something like that, I can't see that, right? Um, but what, so what I did, I, I made a little alteration to it. I created a calculation tied to a parameter where a user could add labels as they want to. So if I want to see the top 10 labels, top 10 most common birthdays, oh, those are all in September. What are the bottom 10 birthdays? Oh, kind of Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, makes sense. If you really wanna see all labels, you can do that, but ah, it's kind of overwhelming, right? Um, and that's really one of the reasons that I built this all in the first place is I was like, I don't like having no labels, but I also really don't like having all the labels, uh, at least as a default. So that's where that idea for, hey, let's have it default to like a top 10. That's where that came from. Okay. So I'm going to use a little bit of a different data set, a little bit of a different example here um, uh, to do this. So I've got a highlight table that looks like this, and this is profit by subcategory and region um, using Superstore data. And quick side note, my brain's all over the place, just had coffee. Um, I will link that birthdays example in the uh, in the description below. It's on my Tableau Public, so if you want to download that, play with it, make your own alterations knock yourself out. Um, all right, so dynamic labels for a highlight table, right? So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I guess what we need to decide is what labels do we want? So I'm thinking I got a couple ideas. How about we have no labels, all labels, top five, bottom five, all positive values, all negative values. All right, are we ready to do this? So let's go ahead and start by creating a calculated field. Um, nope. Nope, not a calculation, a parameter. Let's go ahead and start by creating a parameter. And this will be um, labels to display. Okay, so then we're going to give, it's going to be the data type. I will just make this a string. I'm going to make this a list of possible options. So the the options you could use would, and uh, we probably want to put these in order that we would expect the users to look for them. So maybe we have all, none, um, top five, bottom five, uh, profitable, unprofitable. I don't know if that matters. And honestly, you can drag any of this around later on. Like if I want to move profitable here, and if I want to move none to the end, like we can do all that. The, the order of this doesn't really matter. It's just how your user is going to see this. So we've got this parameter. I'm going to go ahead and say show parameter. And actually just for my own sanity here, let me edit the parameter one more time and just screenshot this and throw it on my second screen so I don't have to keep opening and closing this to get the labels just right. Okay, so now we're going to create a calculated field which will incorporate the logic. Um, where was I going with this? It will incorporate the logic of the different options that we wrote in the parameter. So I will say case labels to display. When all, then sum of profit. When profitable, then, and this will be in parentheses, if sum of profit is greater than zero, then sum of profit. Okay, so something I like to do along the way sometimes is just put an end statement in there and make sure I'm not having errors along the way. The errors are way easier to troubleshoot when you have fewer um, conditions than when you have a bunch of conditions. So for instance, right now, I just deleted the last parenthesis off and it will say something like expected closing parenthesis for expression starting at character 81. So 
pretty technical mumbo jumbo. But imagine if it was like starting at character two, nine, four, seven, you'd be like, what are we talking about here, right? So, okay. Um, the next one, when unprofitable, then, and honestly, this is actually kind of easy. It will just be the same logic, except for if the value is less than or equal to zero, then that's unprofitable. Okay, uh, when top five, then, let me think about this. Um, if the rank of the sum of profit that's right. Yeah, is less than or equal to five than sum of profit. Bingo, I wasn't sure that one was gonna work. But rank's always a little bit confusing because in this case, you say less than or equal to five, but that just means that it's ranked one, two, three, four, or five. Uh, rank by default is gonna rank from highest to lowest, so these should be our top five most profitable values going to kind of continue to borrow on our logic here. So when bottom five, then very similar, if rank sum of profit is less than or equal to five, one key distinction, instead of just rank of sum of profit, in between those last two parentheses, I'm going to put a comma and then ASC in single quotations for ascending. So I am now telling the rank, don't go top down, don't go high to low, flip it and reverse it, right? Go low to high. So now the most negative value will be rank number one. The second most negative value or least profitable value will be rank number two and so on. And we get to finish with an easy one. Uh, when none, then null. Okay, fingers crossed that all of this worked. I feel good about it, but feelings and execution are not always the same. So we'll hit okay. Uh, let's drop profit labels on where sum of profit is on labels currently. Let's try this thing out. So all, all the labels are showing up, nice. Profitable, just the blue cells. Unprofitable, nope, we'll come back to that one. Top five, nope. Bottom five, nope. Oh, the ranks, hold on, it's, there's a table calculation here. So actually the ranks, ooh, that's gonna add a little, uh, it's gonna add a little spice, okay. So for the ranks, we need to tell Tableau how exactly that rank is going to occur. So profit labels here, I'm gonna hit the drop down and edit uh, table calculation. So instead of it, the rank being on table across, I want the rank to be based on the entire table. So let's say table across, then down. See how this goes. This looks better, right? So we have five values showing up for the bottom five. Uh, top five, I think there's, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, that's good. Um, did we use the normal rank function, which would allow for ties. If you don't want, you know, if you want only five, you know, don't show me six. Um, you could always try something like rank unique. And so rank unique just has a tiebreaker. Um, so, for example, I, I think it just does something like alphabetical to break the tie. Um, and I figured out why unprofitable didn't work. So if you look closely, it is because I'm a goof. So actually, I put an extra R in the word unprofitable. And that's just a good lesson in this is why text parameters are like a little bit dicey. Um, because if you have a typo or if you change the label and the parameter later, you got to come back here to this calculation um, and, and, uh, and change the reference as well. So let's try them all one more time. All profitable unprofitable, top five, bottom five, none. Bingo. All right, we did it. So uh, cool. Thanks for uh, following along with this. I hope this video was interesting, gave you some things to think about and uh, that you find a way to apply this to your own work. So yeah, appreciate you uh, following the One Number YouTube channel and we look forward to catching you with another Tableau tutorial next week. Thanks.